We're doing it again. I asked you on Instagram to send questions. This is a dirty Q&A. If you want to see the even dirtier version, the questions that truly have no place on YouTube, my spicier links are down below. Let's jump into it. There are so many questions here. So we're going to just go through and try to find some that are semi YouTube appropriate. Are you friendly in person? I hope so. I think so. I did, however, just film a video talking about things I wish I knew before I had sex for the first time. And in that video, I do talk about how it's something that I've learned how to do over the last couple of years where I don't care so much about having a resting bitch face or going super out of my way to be nice to every stranger who like I pass by because it's kind of a good protective thing, you know what I mean? But like, yeah, if you come up to me, of course I'm gonna be nice to you. Are you into pee play? Not my thing. Not here to harsh your mellow yellow. Do you prefer circumcised or uncircumcised men? I quite truly, honestly have literally no preference at all. None at all in terms of like aesthetics or feel or whatever. It's just a body part that most likely you didn't have any choice in the matter, whether it is circumcised or uncircumcised. It makes no difference to me. What's your go-to for underwear? Okay, that's a good question. Airy has recently been a go-to. I used to get a lot from Licenza. Um, and because I do sell a lot of like my worn underwear, I do get some from like Sheen. What never fails to get you in the mood? <sighs> a really good meal or a really like emotionally connective talk, you know? Or sometimes watching like The Bachelor or Love Island or something where two people are just really connected. That's when I like to really snuggle up with my boyfriend and be like, we love each other too just like that, don't we? And he's like, yeah. But also like good food. There's something about like a margarita or Aperol spritz and a really nice meal that just makes me wanna go home and boink. How often do you masturbate? I mean, again, I think I answered this in the last dirty Q&A, but do you know what I do? I masturbate a lot on camera or money. Do you see collaborations with other women or couples as your next step on Fansly or OnlyFans? Um, so I did do like a sort of collaboration on OnlyFans with some people who I met in Vegas and that was really fun because it was also very basic. It was just like we're all like hugging each other and like taking our clothes off sort of thing but it didn't go further than that and I am open to doing stuff with other women. And those are the boundaries that are in my relationship. What made you want to start educating about sex? I think growing up in a household where it was fairly open to ask questions and to not be like shamed or embarrassed to do that and then having okay sex education like it wasn't just like don't have sex it was a little bit more in depth and like safety and consent based which pretty impressive for a small town in the early aughts. Um, but I always found that in conversations with my peers growing up, I kind of knew a little bit more because I had sort of like the family and the friends that would talk about it more openly. And then I think starting YouTube, it was just kind of a natural thing to talk about because it was what I talked about to people anyways. Um, and I've always been really interested in sex. Like I remember when I was 13, 14, 15, I would watch a lot of documentaries on sex work and like porn stars and stuff like that. Like seeing kind of the dark side of it, seeing the positive sides of it. There were obviously more dark sides, which is why it's really interesting seeing now Fansly, OnlyFans, all these websites where you are in control, you are the boss. And it's kind of taking the oldest profession in the world back under the power of the people who are making the content, which is great. How do I bring up my foot fetish in the bedroom? I think just being very open and not embarrassed by the things that you're into is a great way to start. I would love to give you a foot massage or just being like, is there anything that you would want to add to the bedroom? Any sort of kinks or fetishes or things that you're just interested in exploring, giving them that opportunity and then being like, yeah, I really love rubbing feet or sucking toes or like I'll buy your pedicure and then like suck your toes or something like that. Literally the rest of these questions like 
you guys, do you like both holes plugged at the same time? We really can't broach these subjects on here. So all of those dirtier questions are gonna be on OF and Fansly. But those are all of the questions that I can answer on here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Leave other questions down below because I think next time I do one of these, I'll gather questions from the comments below here. And I will see you all very soon. Bye guys.